is.com. I'm going to scroll down here. This is the new Gravel GRX. You saw a video I did a few years ago called Dear Shimano, and it was basically asking Shimano to make some compatible cassettes, derailers, etc. we could use with the 11-speed road group. We know SRAM with the 10-speed road group. You could use a 10-speed rear derailleur, mountain bike rear derailleur with your 10-speed road shifters. You could put a 36 or 40 cassette in the back there. No worries. Shimano, uh, eventually, it's been about 10 years since SRAM have released you know, that compatible product. Anyway, let's get to the GRX. This is basically long due. And it's a basically a request. My request, this is my personal request to Shimano. Uh, was it made because of me? Was it made because of industry? Is it made because of a lot? I think, who knows? But I know people in the industry do watch my stuff. And it just makes sense. There was so many of the crew out there putting 42 cassettes on their bikes and using road links with Shimano road derailers. And now the, the Shimano road derailleur can use a 40 on the GS derailleur. So it's pretty rad. Anyway, let's get to the deal here. So this, this is hydro disc only. There's no caliper option. There's no caliper option, which is fine because you can integrate the GRX. I'm pretty sure it looks a bit of a cheap crank, set, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like a like one of those 2001, you know, XT sort of 770 crank sets, doesn't it? It's interesting. Um, so one, so one by two by, one by is a joke, man. For adventure gearing, a 40, you're gonna put a 42 tooth chainring on your gravel bike. You're gonna be walking a lot of hills, especially if you've got a bit of load on your bike. You definitely want to have. Probably a 34 on the front, or just go the double, man. Just go the double. I would even just recommend you just give mountain bike cranks. True adventure gearing is mountain bike cranks. But again, with the BBs and all the differences, and you have to sort of do a Frankenstein bike, which I've done. On my Trek and Monda, I have a mountain bike crank set. This derailleur, though, this looks... Actually, you can just use a GS derailleur road bike anyway and, and run it with a 40 cassette. So I'm not sure this is really for me a bit gimmicky. The only thing that I like about it is, I mean, it's not a bad group set, but it's a bit of a like, you know, how you doing sort of thing. It's like this, this technology's already out. This is sort of cool. Shimano's first ever 4630. But then again, you can just get some absolute black rings and put them on any 11 speed Shimano crank. So what this group set really isn't already out there. Um, what else, what is it? You know, there's like, I'm trying to think. There's nothing on this group set that's really, for me, gravel specific. Because right now, with the Shimano Dura Ace, or at least Ultegra, the GS derailleur will handle a 40 cassette. You know, most bikes, it will handle a 40 cassette. You can put a 4630 absolute black ring on there. So you've already got a, a gravel group set without even having to release a gravel group set. But I know people like to have, hey, this is GRX, this is my limited gearing, this is, you know, this is not a, a mountain bike. Don't, don't laugh at my mountain bike, it's not on my bike, it's a GRX, it's a gravel spec. You know, all the all the people who used to laugh at me putting 40 cassettes on gravel bikes or CX bikes or road bikes to go and do some proper adventure riding, now they'll go and spend 2,000 bucks and buy a GRX group set. So I was, no, I didn't I didn't get inspired by doing how to do this. This is just uh, how it is. So it is quite amusing. <laughs> It's quite amusing that the some of the haters out there who heckled me for putting a 40 cassette on a road bike are now going to be doing that because Shimano finally said it's okay to do that. But anyway, that is interesting. But this, again, the one by on a gravel, that's to be a pretty flat course, man. Or unless you're fucking racing at hardcore. But if you're touring, you load your bike up, go ride, man. Go and ride a steep gravel road with a... A a thirty thirty four like they had the diverge. It's, 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 you're gonna be walking. You're gonna be walking your ten thousand or five thousand dollar gravel bike. So again, these rings are too still too big. A forty six thirty for gravel. You know, most applications is too big. I recommend a mountain bike crank set for most of the gravel applications. That's just my opinion based on my personal experience doing gravel riding for eons, riding BMXs and road bikes and all sorts of bikes and gravel since, geez, nineteen ninety one. Whenever we first started, actually probably nineteen eighty six when we started. started Doing little gravel rides and their BMXs. And gearing was an issue. We have to walk up the hills. It's all about the gearing. So if you need more gears in your bike, put better gears in your bike. And uh, the GRX, it looks cool. Um, but again, it's it's a solution to a problem that doesn't exist because you can sort of hack it anyway with the latest 11-speed Shimano stuff. The, the old Tegra GS will work with a 40 cassette. You know, so that's the cheap way to do it. There you go. That's it. So make your own GRX. Just uh, use whatever you've got now and uh, put a bigger cassette on the back or smaller chains up front. 
compatibility issues aside. But yeah, this is sort of the only thing that's different is the hydro brakes. But again, if you're on gravel and you're using the brakes here, that front wheel is going to be skipping out. So, And again, this is going to limit your front bag area. You know, what are, what are you going to do with your front bags there? So it is, you know, again, you've got to sell people something. You've got to sell them something. But hey, I'm glad it's out there. The derail, I, mean, I, I, I don't know what any of this is stuff is really any useful that's not really out there. Isn't, for me, it's no improvement. It's just easier for bike shops to say, we can actually officially do this. But, you know, what? Are, someone educate me what on this group set isn't already out there before this GRX is released, besides these little brake dinghies that aren't even really necessary. Anyway, that's good. But anyway, I'm glad that Shimano is normalizing, and I'm glad SRAM are normalizing small chain rings, big cassettes on road bikes, gravel bikes, adventure bikes. They're normalizing cadence, they're normalizing gear ratios, and that is the take-home benefit. Win-win for everyone. See you out there. Spin to fucking win. Lance Armstrong was right. And you see this, this fucking animal. <laughs>